James Franco takes on a well-known character. I talk with him about starring as the man behind the curtain in Oz, the Great and Powerful. The royal treasure of Oz, it belongs to you, but only after you defeat the Wicked Witch. Just how wicked is she? Towns were destroyed. <laughs> Children were orphaned. A great wizard from Kansas. I've waited for you to come and set things right. Me? Knowing Sam, I knew it was gonna be a big movie, but it was a big film, and it was worthy of a prequel. Mm. Do, do you agree with that? I think he did it right. Yeah. Uh, he used, you know, developments in film that, that, you know, have been made since the original was made mm -hmm. 70 years ago, so that, you know, the world is rendered in, in ways that they never could have done. Um, and that's one of the things you want from a, from a movie like this. When you go to a fantastical place, you want it to be spectacular, and he really delivered on that. But in other ways, um, he was loyal to, to, to key aspects of Oz that we expect, and, and you know, put in certain characters and witches and, and um, geographical or geog points of, you know, interest like the Emerald City or the Yellow Brick Road, you know, and that you need if you're gonna do Oz. The film also has the black and white beginning, goes into color, and there's still a journey. You're the journey, the Wizard of Oz, we have Dorothy the Scarecrow, we still have that. We do have that, we have a character from Earth, or from Kansas even, who is transported to this fantastical land. There is a nod to the original where um, it, it transforms from black and white to color, but not only that, in this one, the aspect ratio enlarges uh, the 3D becomes uh, more intense, more dimensional. Um, sound, you know, it becomes surround sound. All of these things. Um, and you have an emissary into the world of Oz. But in the original, you had a very innocent young woman. Here, you have a not-so-innocent um, charlatan. And he's a charlatan at the end of The Wizard of Oz. We, he, we discover that. That's kind of where you began to go through that journey. Yes, um, but in fact, maybe, you know, yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a faker or he's, he uses illusion in The Wizard of Oz, but, um, you know, maybe he was not the worst ruler, you know, it's, it's, it's people, you know, believe in it and, and I guess kind of more or less stay in check in Oz uh, or live, you know, a happy life because there's a belief in this this wizard. The movie directed by Sam Raimi also stars Rachel Weisz, Mila Kunis, and Michelle Williams. Mike Wilbur, NBC News.